Welcome to Eaton's new SPD series of surge protection, featuring thermally protected metal oxide varistors, or TPMOVs, the safest technology on the market today. Metal oxide varistors, or MOVs, are the basic building blocks for virtually all modern surge protection products. They can withstand many thousand surges, ranging from tens of amps to even tens of thousands of amps of surge current. However, even metal oxide varistors can fail, and IEEE Standard C6272, the guide for the application of surge protective devices for low voltage, 1000 volts or less, power circuits, warns about the over voltage failures of surge protective devices. When MOVs reach an end of life condition, they lose their ability to block normal system voltage and begin to conduct current continuously. The continuous current condition creates heat. The MOV initiates a conductive condition identified as thermal runaway that inevitably results in the destruction of the MOV. The resulting destruction of the MOV might expel hot metal fragments, conductive ionized gases, and dense conductive smoke or soot. In addition, allowing such materials into the interior of electrical distribution equipment can damage or compromise an insulation system, resulting in a cascading effect of serious equipment damage. Let's take a look at how these failures can occur. Here is a 480 volt, 20 millimeter diameter MOV being subjected to a sustained over voltage condition with a magnitude of 750 volts and a limited current of 100 amps. This MOV smoked for approximately 30 seconds before failing. MOVs come in all shapes, sizes, and capacities, but the end result is very similar regardless of the size or capacity of the MOV. Eventually, the MOV will fail when subjected to a sustained overvoltage. Obviously, as we have seen, regular MOVs cannot be safely used alone in the protection of electrical systems from electrical surges. IEEE C6272 also talks about the methods that manufacturers use to mitigate the effects of thermal runaway. These methods can be summarized into two basic categories, containment methods and prevention methods. Containment methods allow the MOV to go into thermal runaway, but attempt to contain the harmful effects of that thermal runaway inside a suitable enclosure, usually a large metal enclosure, or even by covering or encapsulating the MOVs in a sand sealing compound such as epoxy, or both. UL 1449 3rd Edition is the most recent safety standard covering surge protection devices. While SPDs carrying a UL 3rd edition stamp indicates the equipment can survive a catastrophic failure without flames, smoke, or soot escaping the enclosure, it does not prevent equipment connected directly or through conduit from sustaining intense damage. Again, the containment method allows the catastrophic event to occur with flames, smoke, and ionized gases being generated. Here is an example of the containment method. The MOVs are inside a heavy metal box filled with sand and covered with a layer of epoxy. For our test, the top cover has been removed to allow viewing of internal components. The MOVs go into thermal runaway with the sand, epoxy, and enclosure designed to prevent the flame, smoke, and soot from reaching the outside. Here is an example of an SPD emitting dense soot and smoke while experiencing an over voltage condition. As you can see, connected equipment is still susceptible to soot, smoke, and ionized gases. The enclosure prevents burn through and thus passing UL 3rd edition, but the event still occurs inside the enclosure. The prevention method focuses on safely disconnecting the MOV from the circuit under a sustained over voltage condition before the MOV goes into thermal runaway. This can be accomplished through specialized fusing or other thermal devices. In 2007, Eaton began using a component called a thermally protected metal oxide varistor, TPMOV. Thermally protected MOVs consist of a metal oxide varistor coupled with a thermal element and a spring-loaded gate. When the MOV is subjected to a sustained overvoltage, the thermal element will release from the surface of the MOV once the temperature reaches a critical level. It will then separate from the MOV and the gate will slide up, interrupting the circuit and safely taking the MOV offline. Gate operation is evident through the two noticeable flags or ears protruding from the housing and tied to the unit's green and red light status. Let's take a look at how a thermally protected MOV behaves when subjected to the very same conditions which caused fire, smoke, 
and eventual failure of the standard metal oxide varistors. This 480 volt thermally protected MOV unit is being subjected to a 700 volt sustained over voltage. As you can see, the thermally protected MOV emits no smoke because it's disconnected long before the MOV can go into thermal runaway. Operation of the thermal protection is evident through the activation of the thermally protected MOV's flags or ears protruding from the housing. Eaton's line of UL 3rd edition products employ thermally protected MOVs to provide high performance and high levels of safety. No contaminants escape from the SPD even under sustained over voltage conditions. Status indication lights changing from green to red indicate a TP MOV has separated itself from the circuit. In contrast, SPDs that utilize containment methods can expel smoke, soot, and ionized gases that can compromise safety and performance of not only the SPD device, but your entire electrical system. Talk to your local Eaton distributor today about our new series of high-performance surge products utilizing the prevention method and gain peace of mind that your system is protected by the highest performance and safest products on the market.